Hi, my love. This is going to be part one of your energy reading. So the first part of the energy reading is just me going over all of the notes that I took on your um, image, <laughs> like meditating on your picture, basically. Um, I write down what I what I feel, hear, see, all of that while I focus on your question and your your image and all of that. So. The second portion of this reading will be the tarot reading. So do this, watch this one first. Um, okay, so basically I was seeing your aura is soft. Okay, and soft meaning the colors were really light. Oh, excuse me. The, <laughs> it's kind of funny that I got the, the burps right now because I'll get to that later, but that's really funny because I just got done doing another um, another reading for someone and I didn't have that, so pay close attention to that. <laughs> um, so I put the aura is soft colors of green and blue, um, but they were very light. So your aura is very light, almost like it was a little faded or it was um, muted, if that makes sense, like just pale, okay? Um, I don't feel like that's anything to be alarmed over. I just feel like maybe it, it might show your spirituality is kind of in a limbo or um, you, you go a lot of like not trusting things because to me I could associate being pale with like being um, hiding or not all there. But I don't think it's anything to be alarmed over. But I was seeing green, greens and blues for you, and green and blue is like um, and the mixture of earth energy and water. So you have a lot of earth and water around you, um, a lot of emotion, a lot of like need for creation, a lot of material things. Um, green is also the color of the heart chakra or healing. Um, and with the blue, with the emotional, so it could be like a lot of emotional healing, that kind of thing. Um, maybe that's what you're kind of presently dealing with. Um, there could be stuff maybe you're avoiding with that. And maybe that's why it was coming off as more pale. Um, I put you have an eagerness to you for the future to be right now. So I was feeling a lot of like kind of panic energy of wanting everything in the future to be right now. Um, almost like... You can't wait, you know, it's like it has to happen now, I need it now, I'm tired of waiting, you're tired of the limbo, like that's what I feel like you're in a lot of limbo right now. Um, and when you're too eager for the future, you miss out on the present, so I'm just going to say that, like, you will neglect the present life, you will neglect things that are taking place in the present because you were so focused on your future. Um... I put don't waste your present waiting, okay? So <laughs> don't waste the present time waiting for the future. Don't say, I'm not going to do anything of this stuff right now because I want to wait till the future happens or I'm going to hold off on, this is just an example. I'm going to hold off on taking that class because I want to see what will happen in the future. Um, that's just a example, but that's what I mean. Like, you will purposely miss out on things right now if you are just waiting for the future to happen. Um, I put you are a healer in your words and touch. Um, so a lot of the hand energy, when you place your hands on people, um, whether it's like a massage or you just hold them or hug them, people will be very receptive to that. It's like they need your touch. They feel connected to you. Um, let's see. And, and also with your words too. So you have a way with words. People either, they love to talk to you or they feel like they get so much vital advice from you when they talk to you, that kind of thing. Um, I wrote down upcoming changes. I feel three months time. Um, three months time meaning like three months from now um, or within three months or so there might be some major changes and that and major i don't want to say major like either there's just gonna be some changes okay <laughs> there's gonna be a shift in you know the things that are going on right now in your life it may not exist in three months time or so 
I put be daring and don't seek validation. So when it comes to these changes, being daring is like, don't double check, don't doubt, don't underestimate your ability to do the things that you need to do. Um, and you don't need validation, so you don't need a friend's permission or someone's permission to partake in these changes. You do it if you feel called to, okay? So I feel like that's another major um, message for you. I said, <laughs> your, your reading was very jumbled, by the way. Like, it was like one thing after another, but it was like some stuff didn't make sense. So I put wear lipstick, and then I put question marks. I, for some reason, I hear that. Wear lipstick. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like maybe you struggle with like wanting to wear a certain color or <laughs> or lipstick is significant for you it makes you feel confident but maybe you just don't feel confident right now to wear it i don't know but that's what came up <laughs> i put you need more water energy as a recharge um like a bath or being by the ocean or the, the a swimming pool but you need water okay so you need more water energy and a water recharge could be either you submerge yourself in the water or you are just sitting right next to it. I know when I feel that need for a water recharge um, and I go to the ocean, I don't necessarily get in the water, but just sitting next to it makes me feel so much better. So I feel like you need that. <laughs> um, I also put emotional release. So there's things that you need to just get out, cry, you know, talk it out, cry it out, let it out. Um, I put it's okay to feel what you've been feeling. So that was a very specific message from spirit. Um, so I feel like your guide is kind of just wanting you to know whatever it is that you've been feeling. If you've been feeling guilty for it, it's okay to feel it. So <laughs> I will let that message be as it is. Um, because I feel like that's a direct kind of like a personal message from your guide to you. Um, and then I put gassy in, in a question mark. So when I was doing your, um, your reading, I was feeling gassy myself. I was like, had the burps obviously earlier. Um, but I was feeling gassy. And so I don't know if that is something that you've been feeling lately or I don't know. It's just, that's what came up. I put pay closer attention to mindful eating. So maybe we, I know I struggle with emotional eating. I don't know if you struggle with emotional eating, but maybe you have certain foods that you eat that you know you shouldn't, um, or you have foods that you indulge in that you know are not good for you. I don't know, but that's what I put. So if you have, if you struggle with emotional eating, um, I am right there with you. I do the same thing. <laughs> And then I put berries with question marks. So I saw berries and I don't know if that's like something that you, it's a favorite food or maybe that's a problematic food for you. Um, maybe berries have a significance to you. It could be a scent. I don't know. Um, a lot of the stuff that comes through, it's just, I'm just writing it down half the time. It doesn't make sense to me. I am just delivering it. <laughs> Um, and then I put lots of pressure from others. So I was feeling like you feel a lot of pressure from other people. There's a lot of friends that you feel like you have to put face for. Um, there's just people that you feel like you have to be, act, and look a certain way when you're around them. And then I put your social circle will be changing again. So you may have found recently within the last few months that your friends, your friendship circles are changing. Maybe you've lost touch with certain people. Maybe you've lost touch with whatever and it's changing again so i'm seeing another cycle of that and i think it's you need it i think you need a new circle of friends to be honest just the vibe that i was feeling was like um you have a lot of fake people around you you have a lot of people who um maybe in the present moment they're fine but at one point i wouldn't trust them you know what i mean so that's changing new friends with similar life lessons is what i put so it's kind of like you're growing up, right? You're growing out of this circle of friends that you used to hang out with, and now you're looking for people who are actually going through things in life similar to you. Um, I really feel the call to tell you you need friends who are older or the same age. Um, I don't know if you tend to hang out with people who are younger than you, um, but that's not working for you anymore. I feel like you need friends who are older or <laughs> same age or just older going through stuff that you're going through. Um, I, and I put, um, 
the last thing I put was you need more quality than quantity. So I feel like a, um, one of the main messages here for you was your friendship circles, your social circles. You need more quality than quantity. You need less, don't worry about how many friends you have. Worry about the quality that these friendships that you do have give you. Um, you could just have one or two friends, but if they are giving you everything and they are positive reinforcers in your life, to me that is more valuable than somebody who, or people, a group of them that you may have simply because it's nice to be surrounded by a lot of people, but they don't all necessarily connect with you or support you. So that's a big one. I think your friendship circles are changing. <sighs> But aside from that love, that was basically all that I got. I didn't get too much, as much for you as I did for other um, people. I don't know if it's just because maybe in this present life, there's not too much change happening with you. Um, so go ahead and click the second link to watch your video reading about the tarot reading. And thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, love.